What up YouTube, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, if you put two and two together you would have realised that I'm actually playing Modern Warfare 3. Um, this is my first uh, sort of actual commentary video on my Modern Warfare 3. On Modern Warfare 3 uh, and I'm using a capture card, um, it's actually in my PC. And it's uh, great, it works well. Um, obviously at, at the time I'm doing the commentary, uh, I'm not actually playing, this is slightly sped up. Just to bring it just under the 10 minute mark. Um, which is which works well. Um, this capture card is it actually works really well. I haven't really had I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, I mean, it took a little bit of time to get my settings correct for YouTube, so yeah, the file size wasn't sort of three gig for a five minute video. Um, anyway, yeah, as you can see here, I'm just going to quickly go through all of the one uh, three levels. I'm not really going to go into much detail into about them. Um, Basically, you just see me sped up playing them because obviously you don't really want to see it. You kind of just want to see what, how how everything looks. Uh, I'm not really going for any of the intel, uh, mainly because I don't actually know where it is because I haven't really played this very much. Uh, this is one of my less favourite games um, of recent. Um, I definitely will try and put up some Batman uh, Arkham City ones because they're a lot of fun to play. I, I find Batman Arkham City is a lot of fun to play, um, but. Uh, I'm playing Modern Warfare 3 at the moment, and uh, the co-producer of this channel uh, has also been doing some YouTube. Uh, has been also has some Modern Warfare 3 videos, and he's just put them on his vault. So then I download them, and then I record them. He doesn't have a capture card. Um, but yeah, this level I'd probably play through three or four times before I recorded. Um, like the first time, I was actually just playing without a capture card, just playing it through. Um, and it's normally but then um, I played it once, and the and it just wasn't it, it didn't really work. I played it again, so yeah, I probably played it three three or four times um, over, and um, it's, it, I think I think the I do enjoy the campaign quite a lot. It is it is quite good. Um, possibly another one that's quite short. It could be a bit longer, but that's that's just me. Um, but I, overall, I think it's I think it's. It's okay. I mean, it's not like Call of Duty 4, which the campaign was so short um, that not a lot really happened before you finished. And obviously, this is a continuation of COD 4 um, that led on to Modern Warfare 2, which led on to Modern Warfare 3. So obviously, that was Modern Warfare 1. Um, yeah, in this, we've got some of the new stuff we've got. We've got the uh, there's a hybrid site which allows me to change from the uh, sort of EOTech site that I've got, hol holographic site that I've got on at the moment. Um, it, you see next to it um, when I'm scoping in there, you see that big fold on the right of it. That's the scope. I don't know if you saw me using it earlier, or even if I use it. Um, and that, that just allows me to sort of get a bit more of a zoom on my scope. That's quite cool. Um, although I don't, I didn't really use it a lot as I kind of didn't really see any point as it went far enough away. Um, it's, a, it's a nice, it's a nice addition. Um, we've also got some other um, sort of uh, special grenade, which is the nine bang, which basically is uh, it's not it's not like one big flashbang. It's kind of nine little flashbangs, and um, it's it is it is quite good. It's I haven't really used it on I haven't used it online. I don't even know if you can get it online. Uh, and this is the other thing I've got is the XM28. As far as I was well, that's what it was called. Um, and it's like a it's basically a noob tube with a a uh, what is that? There's a, a scope on it. Yeah, XM25, and uh, it fires basically. I think it's a grenade launcher or something, something like that. And it's quite good because you don't have to do any of this guesswork. You can just point it at the enemy and fire, and it and it, fire, it launches the grenade where you want it to. But I didn't use it that much. I mean, I've already got the achievement. If you didn't know them, you just on this level just kill. I think it's 10 or 20 enemies with the XM28 throughout the level. Um, they got killed by a grenade there, but I didn't. So I think I did pretty well. Um, anyone that's interested, I've uh, just finished my January A levels. Uh, I've still got my June ones to go. But uh, at the moment, uh, yeah, as you see, it cut there. So that was that was just because uh, I died here. Basically, I just went in. I shot I shot the the two people at the front, and then I ran up to someone and shot, and it kind of bounced, and the splash damage hit me, and I died. Um, it's not that much of a big deal. Just a quick cut there, and uh, so yeah, just run through here. This is like the stock exchange, what of sorts? I don't even know what it looks like in real life. I assume it looks something like that. It looks pretty badass. 
Uh, it looks a bit futuristic. I don't know if it actually looks like that, but if it, if it does, it's pretty pretty badass. So anyway, yeah, um, I don't know if I killed all the enemies, but I think I just kind of was like, yeah, whatever, I'm just going to run up here, because I didn't want the clip to be too long, because um, obviously it takes time to render, and, and obviously I sped it up a little bit. Um, anyway, yeah, you'll see it cut again here in a second, there. Uh, that was um, because I died up here. I, I got hit by the RPG here, and when I got to, well, I got to the top of these stairs I'm shooting at, and uh, I got shot, and I died because I, my health didn't recover fast enough. So uh, then I had to cut it back here, but um, so yeah. So then you go up here, over here, and you have to plant the thermite on the uh, tower. It's like a jamming tower, and then you just run over there, that, uh, and uh, then you get a predator drone because obviously now the now the communications aren't blocked anymore. Um, you can um, use predator drones that give you one. And obviously you see me scoping up there where I'm looking at the moment. That's because uh, I because I, I already played this through. I know there's going to be enemies appearing there. So I'm see what's going on. It's sort of sparking a lot. I probably wouldn't want to go and touch that. But anyway, um, yeah, as you can see, that's where they are. So then I went and just hid here, and because I knew I had a predator drone. There we go. And I, fi I kept firing at them. Uh, I think I fired three, two for the pit, two for the soldiers below. Um, I think I do another one. Yep, I do another one for them, and then I do one for the helicopter that arrives. I kind of go into it expecting the helicopter to be there straight away, but it's not. I'm kind of looking for it, and I'm um, so kind of like, oh, oh, and then there it is. So then I fire it off, um, and then I take that down. So I did that pretty quickly, I mean, and I know that can be kind of difficult if you're not expecting it on your first go, but overall, I don't think it was. I think it's that hard to sort of compensate for. So as you can see, our uh, helicopter uh, completely realistically turning around in, in between buildings oh yeah I tried to get in here, didn't work yeah, the helicopter turning around in, in between buildings because that's completely safe and that's going to happen in real life uh, so then you just pop on a minigun here and yeah, I'm shooting away, shooting away the guys there uh, I can see some guy shooting me so I can finish him off finish him. he's dead and now we're off um, to what assumes uh, so what we assume will be the next mission but now we're on a helicopter it's never that simple as you see there's an enemy, another enemy helicopter here and I'm trying to follow it and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to kill it uh, or shoot it down um, but anyway so then I sort of move on to the one that's coming at me from here because it seems because there just happens to be a lot of enemy helicopters flying between buildings and none of them have crashed into the buildings of course because every, every single pilot is so good at being a pilot so take down that enemy helicopter there's another one there I think yeah I've got that one as well oh there's one down there I saw that but then it's like, oh where's it gone uh, I don't know about that one, I think, I don't know what happened to that one. Um, it then tells you to keep watching, and I know there's one coming from down there, so I start shooting. And there it is, but then obviously the minigun doesn't want to pan up very fast. So, I missed it, and I just basically keep shooting it through the building. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do or what, but I just keep shooting it through the building. Um, and then your guy stops here, and then he stops there. And then we go up incredibly fast, then we stop, and I take the helicopter down, it's spinning away, it's getting away, it's getting further away, and then, boom, we get sucked towards you, and then you're here, I don't know how that happens, you, it gets completely sucked towards you, uh, which is kind of crazy, um, it's barrels, doing barrel rolls at you, and there we go, so we're coming, coming towards the end of the mission now, and... Uh, yeah, you're just spinning around, spinning around, spinning around, still spinning around, almost falling out the helicopter, back on. Oh, grated up a side of the building, my rotor blades are still working. And that is, and now we're fixed. Some, so we had an engineer on our team who just used the blow torch inside the helicopter. We're all done, we're all safe. Oh, no, that's bad for, we get, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Cheers.